Hey everyone, it's Liz here and I am here to talk about making your own first aid kit, a kind of to-go box of oils and other stuff from doTERRA and other stuff in general that I'm going to go over. Um, so the reason that I made this kit was I was kind of inspired by my son that's going on a camp trip this summer and wanted to make sure that he had some things to take with him because um, I'm not going to be there and our box of oils isn't going to be there for him. But I just think this is great to carry in your car or if you're going hiking um, to a pool with your kids for the day, whatever it is, um, it's just good to have something that you can have, you know, on hand to use. So I just wanted to go through what the contacts, um, or sorry, what the products and stuff is that I have in here. So what I've put in here, I'm going to just take them out one by one and show you. Peppermint oil. These are in what I call a one dram bottle you can get from Aroma Tools. We will put all of the resources in the comments um, of this post, so uh, just so you know. So this is peppermint oil. I think that's a must to go with your kit because it's good for headaches, stomach issues, um, anything to help with those things. If you've eaten something not good or you've been in the sun too long, just a cooling effect. Lavender um, also is a great one for sunburns, um, burns in general, just calming down, relaxing, helping sleep, that type of thing. Um, Melaleuca, in case you get bit by a bug, is a great one. Um, it's also good for skin irritations, uh, sore throats, anything like this. Melaleuca is just one I love to keep on hand. Um, Digestin I've put in there. Digestin is great for stomach and irritations, anything to do with the digestive system, car sickness, anything like that. It's great to have this one on hand. Um, I've put wild orange in there because it's one of my very favorite oils, but because it also is great for just mood management, uplifting. Let's say that you're um, you know, hiking and your kids are starting to get grumpy or you are or you're kind of at your wits end, rubbing a little wild orange on their wrist or the back of their neck would really help brighten up the mood of the hike. Um, breathe is great for respiratory issues of any sort, but you know, it seems like with the change of weather comes some coughs and colds and that type of thing, and breathe is a great one to have on hand for that reason. Uh, just rubbing it on the chest or having them cup it and breathe it over their nose or you. Um, I've put peppermint, or I'm sorry, On Guard beadlets in there because on guard beadlets, you can pop them um, and use them as a sanitizer on your hands if you need to, but just putting them in your mouth if you're feeling like you're traveling a ton and you need a little bit of a boost, um, keeps you healthy, keeps you protected in um, crowds and that sort of thing. So that's a great one to keep on hand. Um, I put a bottle of Terra Shield. Now, I didn't have any more, so. I ordered these tops from aromatools.com and they fit on one of your 15 mil bottles of oil and this one is on guard and I, it was actually an empty bottle of on guard that I just had and I just filled the rest of it with water but I can use it as a hand sanitizer um, or a disinfectant um, on the road on the go right so my idea was to do the same thing with Terra Shield I just need to order more of these, which I did yesterday. And so I'll put the lid on this one, the spray lid on this one, because you can use this as a bug repellent. So this was a Terra Shield that had about 15 drops left in it, I would say, and I just filled the rest with water. And you can even add a little bit of peppermint if you want, but this is a great on-the-go um, bug spray, uh, bug repellent. So the other thing that I have in here is I have a smaller vial of frankincense because we all need frankincense in our lives, but it's an expensive oil, and I didn't feel like I would be using it quite as much as the other oils. And then heliochrism, or heliochrism, however you pronounce it, I have that in a smaller vial also because this is a really expensive oil. But um, it is a for sure first aid kit item because it stops bleeding automatically, um, really helps with that. So if your kids get scraped or you do, um, it helps with that. It helps with swelling, those type of things. So like an injury um, first aid item for sure, heliochrism. I put a dropper. Again, I got this on Aroma Tools, but this is fractionated coconut oil. 
and I put it with a dropper lid. You can see it in there, I hope. Um, and so you can dilute your oils that you have. So if you, you know, you get a small child or you just want to get it in a larger area, coconut oil is a fantastic oil to keep with you. So I can't say enough good things about CorrectX. CorrectX is amazing, for sure has to go in a first aid kit um, because we use it all the time for scrapes, scratches, chapped lips, um, you know, anything like that is really great. Okay, and then the last doTERRA item, oh no, I have a couple others. So um, deep blue rub, I just put a little bit in this um, chapstick container and deep blue rub so that you can um, apply it, you know, if you get a sore muscle or injury or a, a um, Charlie horse in your leg, that type of thing, really great for that, um, for having on hand. And then I put a handful of um, the cough drops and breathe drops um, on her drops in there also to have on hand in case there's a sore throat or um, congestion, that type of thing. And then I've put band-aids, some band-aids in there, so a couple different sizes. And the last thing I put in there was tweezers. And that is, you know, splinters or if you get, you know, need to get something out of an area and you need those, it's good to have something like that. Now, I had a pocket knife in here. My husband made fun of me, so I might add that back in because um, I did have room for it. And I feel like that is, you know, like a little utility. I actually have it right here. Um, a little tool that, you know, has got a pair of scissors on it. He's like, are you making a survival kit or a first aid kit? So, um, but I think it's handy. So you never know what you're going to encounter. So that's basically the kit. And I put it in this tin right here. And I can give it to my son to take with him. I can keep it in my car, um, take it on a hike, whatever it is. It's just good to have on hand as a uh, go-to kit. So I uh, hope that helps you guys. And if you have any questions, please comment in the post. All right, bye.